In the latest Monetary Policy Review, the Federal Reserve made the decision to maintain its benchmark rate in the range of 5% to 5.25%, in line with the broader expectations. This marked the first instance in over a year that the Fed decided to hold rates steady, signaling the challenges that persist in the U.S. economy, particularly given the increasing probability of a recession, currently estimated at 65%. Despite maintaining rates, the central bank leaned far more hawkish than many had expected. The Federal Open Market Committee FOMC, projected two additional hikes in the near future as inflation continues to run above target. The Fed raised its benchmark rate forecast to a terminal rate of 5.6% at the midpoint in 2023, up from a prior forecast of 5.1% seen in March, suggesting two more hikes remain in play. The future rate decisions would be made on a meeting-by-meeting -meeting basis stated Powell, leaving a certain level of uncertainty regarding the July meeting. The reason for this hawkish stance lies in the inflation figures. The FOMC members expect inflation, which is currently well above the Fed's 2% target, to pick up pace. The core personal consumption expenditures price index, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, is forecast to rise to 3.9% in 2023, up from a prior forecast of 3.6%. Despite the grim prospects, the strength in the labor market is expected to continue, supporting wage growth and services inflation. The unemployment rate is projected to be 4.1% in 2023, lower than the previous 4.6% estimate. Growth or GDP estimates for 2023 have been revised up to 1%, indicating some resilience in the economy amid challenging times. Notably, the tightening monetary policy and resultant high interest rates have put both fundamentally healthy and zombie companies under significant pressure. The historically high rates are increasing the fragility of the banking sector, while the looming recession threatens the return on equity for companies, making cheap refinancing almost impossible. In an unprecedented move, both Republicans and Democrats have agreed to lift the debt ceiling for the 79th time, this time indefinitely, until 2025. This step is seen as a strategy to avoid the impact of a possible state bankruptcy during the election year in 2024. However, it also suggests that the U.S. economy is moving towards a stage where rescue operations for companies and banks would be commonplace, putting immense pressure on the American Central Bank. The Federal Reserve's decision to keep rates steady at this meeting, coupled with an agreement on an unlimited debt ceiling, is a clear indication that the U.S. economy and its artificially comatose currency, the U.S. dollar, are headed for challenging times. The aftereffects of these measures will be seen in the coming months and years, posing a considerable risk not only to the American people and the U.S. economy but also to the European economy. The Fed's more hawkish stance, alongside increasing uncertainty surrounding the U.S. economy and the looming recession, could have far-reaching implications for both domestic and global economies. Domestically, U.S. consumers and businesses could face a tougher economic environment. Higher interest rates could dampen borrowing and investing, thereby slowing economic growth. Consumers may also face increased costs for borrowing on credit cards, auto loans, and mortgages. These factors could contribute to the anticipated recession, potentially leading to increased unemployment and slower wage growth. For businesses, the cost of capital could increase significantly, making it more expensive to fund expansion plans or even manage existing debt levels. Smaller companies and those with weaker balance sheets may find it especially hard to cope. In the worst-case scenario, we could see an uptick in bankruptcies and a contraction in business investment, further deepening the economic slowdown. The banking sector, already under significant strain due to the tightening monetary policy, could also face further challenges. If recession conditions result in increased loan defaults, banks could face significant write-downs, weakening their balance sheets and potentially leading to a credit crunch. Internationally, a slowdown in the U.S. economy could have a ripple effect on global economies. Countries heavily reliant on exports to the U.S., or those with significant dollar-denominated debt, could face major economic stress. This could slow global trade and potentially trigger economic difficulties in other regions. Moreover, the continued use of aggressive fiscal tools such as lifting the debt ceiling indefinitely could eventually erode confidence in the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. 
If that were to happen, the implications would be vast and varied, impacting everything from global trade to the balance of economic power worldwide. In conclusion, the current economic policy trajectory combined with the looming recession points towards a challenging future for the U.S. economy. It is clear that careful navigation and adept policy measures will be crucial in managing the impacts of the likely economic downturn and ensuring the long-term stability of the U.S. economy. It is a reminder that the ripple effects of U.S. economic policy decisions can have significant implications globally, underlining the interconnectedness of today's global economy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For more great content in the future, 